Have you ever looked up to someone that's really successful or has done something that you think is impossible? And the belief in your head is that this person must be special. They must be smarter than me. They must have different resources than me. They must have had different advantages than me. It just all lined up for them for some reason and it just didn't for me. And that's why they succeeded and I didn't. Well, lately I've been thinking a lot after having a conversation with somebody and it made me think about why people really succeed or they don't however you want to define that in your life. And I think the conclusion that I came to is a lot simpler and a lot more inspiring than you may think. I want you for a second to just think about what your life would be like and what it would look like if you took a chance on all the things you considered your dreams or your goals. You know, the next time that you saw that person randomly in the smoothie shop or in the coffee shop, that person you're so attracted to Maybe it is the barista. Maybe it's just someone that you've never seen at the table next to you and they're just studying or they're doing work. But this time, instead of sitting down and making eye contact once and then looking back at the work you're doing, you decide that what you're actually gonna do is you're gonna take the chance and ask them out. And you never know where that may go because sometimes you take the chance and that person you talk to in the coffee shop that you saw just once or you saw hundreds of times, that becomes the person that you marry. And in that moment, there's almost a fork in the road of your destiny or your fate. Do I take the chance? Do I not take the chance? And that's gonna forever determine the path you go down in your life. Maybe what you're thinking of is making a move. You know, you've always heard about New York. You hear it in Frank Sinatra songs. You've heard it in all these other amazing movies and songs. If you can make it there, you can make it anywhere and that inspires you. And you think of it as this melting pot where people are from everywhere and they've come there to try to reach their own goals and their own dreams and do what was formerly considered impossible. They've come from all over the world, every part of the country, all parts of the US to New York to try and make it happen. And in your head, you're sitting there thinking through this scenario. Should I move to New York? Should I not move to New York? Is it worth the risk? Should I take the chance? But what you can't see is that maybe when you move to New York, not only does that job line up the exact way that you wanted, you meet the best friends from all over the world, you meet your dream person, and New York becomes an essential part of your hero's journey and your life story that you never could have predicted before. But all of this is happening in your head because in your head right now, you're in middle America or you're in Australia, or you're in Europe, and you're thinking, should I really move to New York? And right there, you're at that fork in the road. Do I take the chance? Do I not take the chance? And that will determine and seal your fate. Maybe what you've been debating about is something smaller. Maybe it's just, do I take up that salsa class locally? I'm a nerd, I'm awkward, I don't wanna go alone. But in your head, you're thinking, you know what? My day job programming is pretty mundane and it's okay, but it's not that fun. And maybe if I take this salsa class, it'll just be one or two hours a week, it'll be something fun, something that's new, something in my body, something where I'm just laughing, there's no goal, I'll meet people, it's something physical, it's not all in my head or on a computer, and maybe if I get good enough, my Friday nights instead of at home in front of the computer, will be going out to these Latin clubs and living it up and having fun and doing something, again, that's in my body, not something that's in my head and something that's just occupying time, filling space in my life, but something that really makes me feel alive. And in your head, you begin to think, man, my life could be really cool on the weekends if I got good at salsa and I start going to a salsa club or a bachata club. But then you zoom back into your present body in reality and you're thinking, me do salsa, I mean, I have no rhythm, I've never done this, I'm kind of overweight, I'm kind of awkward, I don't want to go alone, this is weird, I'm not like a dancer type, my friends ask that I dance, it's kind of awkward. And again, in that moment, you have the choice, do I take the chance on something new that could change my life in an unknown way for the better? Or do I take the other fork and I stay the same? And for those of you I know that want to be writers or want to write a book, the same thing may happen to you, where you think of all the potential, man, wouldn't it be amazing to go to Paris 
just for a few weeks, pick a little coffee shop or cafe and just write. Write about whatever I wanted. Write my life story, write a novel, write a fantasy novel, write a how-to book, write a list of the things I wish I knew in my 20s. In the morning, sip an espresso. At night, just drink wine or a cocktail in your favorite historical writer's bar in Paris. And then the logical mind comes in again. Well, I mean, so few writers succeed and even published writers that are professional experts don't succeed. And even look at the writers who are now famous a hundred years after their death. They never sold any books while alive. They died penniless and broke. But the part of you, your heart, your soul, still knows that that dream is possible. It knows that sometimes if you just write one page, the second page will come. And sometimes if you do the second page, the third page will come. And then you get excited because you remember what it was like to be a kid where all things are possible, all things are limitless. And you think, man, what would it be like a year from now to have my own book in my hand to hand off to somebody? And even if it just changes one person's life, my life would be complete. And if it sells millions of copies and changes millions of lives and helps me make a lot of extra money or even just a small amount of money, even better. And then you're faced with reality yet again. Do I take the chance on that dream? Or do I choose to remain the same and let that seed die within me? You know, I think the biggest difference between people who have their dreams come true and those who don't is that the people who are the dreamers are also doers who every single day take the chance on their dream by doing something. And regardless of the risks, regardless of the fears, which are mostly in our head, regardless of the fear of our friends not liking us, us changing, every day they take the chance. They always take this fork in the road. And sometimes that may be the only difference between someone who builds an incredible life and those of us who choose, whether consciously or unconsciously, to remain the exact same. So I wanna ask you today, are you gonna take the chance on your dream every single day? Or are you guaranteed gonna stay the same? Because in reality, those are your two options.